Welcome to video tutorial of mechanisms by Mekanis Miller. Recently one of my YouTube followers asked me to make an animation of a jackhammer. I found out that Charles Brady King's 18192 patent is the basis of the jackhammers we know today. Here is the animation of the King's jackhammer. It is an air-operated pneumatic device and it works on nothing but air. It is a very clever and ingenious device. To make an animation to fit the video screen, I showed the jackhammer horizontally. Before going into the details of its working principle, let's look at its major components. The spool moves side to side to direct the air to different pilot ports of the piston. The piston moves up and down to pound on the hammer and send the pilot signals to different pilot port of the spool valve. The hammer moves downward by the impulse applied to it by the piston. The compressed air under the hammer acts as a spring to bounce back the hammer when the force removed on it. This compressed air pocket also acts as a cushion, to prevent the hammer to hit the jackhammer body with a force. I am sure the colors and arrows I added to the animation make it more complex than it actually is. When I explain the color conventions I use, it will make more sense. Particularly when the animation is viewed in slow motion. System seems very complex and hard to understand. But looks can be deceiving. Actually this device is a well-known pneumatic reciprocation mechanism. The ingenuity of the mechanism is how it is packaged in a nice form. Unfortunately the drawback of this packaging hides its simplicity. This mechanism actually uses two pilot operated 5 port 4 way valves as seen in this drawing. The air pilot ports of each valve are shown with small triangles on them. The outputs of each valve are connected to the pilot ports of the other valve. I will put more info about this in my web page. In this video, the blue lines indicate the tubes connected to atmospheric pressure, while the red lines indicate the high pressure. The green color indicates the atmospheric pressure but without a connection to the atmosphere. Similarly purple color shows high pressure without a connection to the high pressure line. Let's slow down the motion of jackhammer to see how it works. When the operator pulls the trigger, the compressed air enters the spool valve from the very large internal opening shown at point 1. When the internal pipe shown in point 2 becomes red, air is pushed behind the piston forcing the piston downward. At the same time the air in the bottom of the piston is exhausted to the atmosphere through pipe 3. While the piston is mowing downward, air enters to the back of the shock observer chamber at point 4. When the operation is reversed, pipe 2 becomes blue and pipe 3 becomes red. In this case bottom of the piston is pressurized through pipe 3. And air at the top of the piston sent to the atmosphere by pipe 2. During this process air bleeds out from the shock observer chamber at point 4. The purple arrows at point 5 and 6 show the discharge of the pressurized exhaust air alternately. How does the spool change its position? This is done by the piston. Actually, the piston chamber and piston act like a large spool valve. As you can see in the pneumatic circuit and the drawing, there are two high pressure inlets at point 7 and 8 to the piston chamber. Notice that the piston chamber is connected to the atmosphere by a hole on piston chamber at point 9. There are also two grooves on the piston. Finally there are two pipes 10 and 11 connecting inlet spools pilot port holes to ports on piston chamber. While the piston is moving up and down, the pressurized air is either connected to pipe 10 or 11. The other pipe is connected to the exhaust pipe at point 9. In short, the spool valve and the piston keep sending feedback to each other and the jackhammer operates as long as there is high air pressure on the inlet at point 1. If you ever see a jackhammer operating, 
Notice that the pressurized air just pushed out at the side of jackhammer which is corresponding to point 9 in our animation. Thank you for watching our video. Please give a thumb up to this video and subscribe my channel to support it.